Greetings everyone, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Marvin Ford, and in today's video we're going to be talking and showing you how to cook salmon on a cedar plank on your firebox stove in your billy pot. So if you're like me and you want to try something a little different, but I love doing a catch and cook, I don't catch salmon here in Georgia, but I love them. So I'm going to cook one here for you tonight, cook it with some rice, show you guys how it's all done, and man, I'm excited. So I hope you are too, so stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so as you see, uh, we've got ourselves our billy pot. That's gonna be what we're gonna cook it in. I've got my cedar plank, I already soaked it. If you've never used a cedar plank, make sure you soak it for at least an hour. Um, you can soak it if you're doing any long period of time. You can do it for longer, but at least an hour just to get that wood saturated so it doesn't burn. You want it to cook the fish, you want the thing to bake around it, and the wood, you just don't want it to catch on fire. You don't want it to smolder, you don't want it to smoke. It's cedar, but it's just, this is a great way to cook fish. Uh, this fish is going to cook really, really well. It's got, I basted it with butter and garlic and then squeezed a little lemon on top of it. But um, you need about a six inch long cedar plank. And then we're going to put it on our scalp and we're going to let it cook. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Just going to slide it in like so. I wish it was a little wider, but this actually came with this fish. When I bought this fish, it came like this. That's why I decided to cook it like this. Let me get that out of the way. Get that open. Boom. Lock that down. And we're gonna put it on our stove. All right, so as you see, we've got it on the fire. Wonderful. I mean, it's gonna, I figure it's gonna take a good 25, 30 minutes. After 20, we'll check it and we'll see how it's looking. I don't want it to overcook. Last time I dammed a uh, trout I, I caught, I tried to cook it and I just screwed it all up. So I don't want to do that with this piece of salmon. Wonderful piece. I went to my local Kroger. They had some on clearance today. So I took a piece, wonderful, nice, thick, almost one over one inch thick piece of salmon. Came with a cedar plank. Just make sure you soak it. And man, like I said, if you take your coals and all you need is about eight briquettes in the scout, Put them around the bottom, put two in each, kind of stack them to, together like you eat Oreos. And you stack two, then two, then two, then two. It leaves you a nice gap in the middle for you to be able to drop yourself a piece of fire starter down in there. And then boom, you're rocking and rolling. Now I figure eight coals will give me a good 35, 40 minutes or more of burn time. It's worked really well in the past. I'm excited. I hope you'll stick with us. All right, so my butter is cooking out of it. It has actually dripped out of the pan already, which is just awesome. I was hoping it would get hot and be able to handle the temp. Let me move my camera up a little more. Here we go. Wonderful. Right now it's been cooking about five minutes. Probably closer to seven. It smells so good. I'm gonna go start the rice. All right, so our time is up. We are going to take this whole thing in the kitchen. I mean, look at that. You see how much of that coal is still going? I mean, wow. Here, I'll show you without the flash on. Wow, that is a nice hot bed of coals. I mean, you could probably get in that. You could probably grill some steaks on a plate or, you know, boil some ramen or anything. Just wow. All right. I tried to let it cool a few minutes because I didn't want to get burnt with steam. Man, that looks good. Man, that's pretty. That is amazing. Let's go over here. Put them right there for now. Very nice. Alright, now the one thing I will advise, ever since finding these things, these Uncle Ben's ready meals are perfect. I mean, even if you're backpacking or camping, you don't have to sit there and steam them. You know, they're already, it's already cooked rice. All you're doing is warming it up from the inside. You know, steaming it. Oh, it's beautiful. 
That's nice. This is the cilantro lime. Very nice. Mm, now let's get the fish. Put our fish over here. Oh, man, that looks good. Oh, that shows you how it really is underneath this. This is just a little smoke you got from the bake, but man, oh, that's pretty. Look how, that's how you know when salmon's done, when it just kind of forks off. You know, when you barely push on it, it just flakes apart like that. That's pretty. That and our rice. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, sorry we had to redo the video. It got really dark last night and I had to redo the video. Um, I'll show you a quick clip of after 60 minutes, we still had a good bed of coals. I mean, you could have kept cooking. I mean, it was just that eight coal system for that scout is just perfect for a long, maintained, uh, really good heat. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to our channel, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, today we are getting ready to go watch the Atlanta Five Stripes, um, Atlanta United play. And uh, we just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for your support. Um, if you've never checked out Firebox, go over and check them out. I'll put a link down below. I've been involved in all of their Kickstarters and scored um, Firebox stoves from all of those. Um, I've been involved in the original, the Nano, and the Scout. Um, they've actually got another one that I'm involved in. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm excited. So if you have anything you want to see particular uh, when it comes to these catch and cooks or any type of cooking just to see if we can do it, um, I've really enjoyed them. Just post it down below. Give us a comment. Uh, go over and check out Firebox. These things are great, not just for an emergency, but for lots of different opportunities. Uh, just for if you don't want to bust out your grill and you're just trying to do something simple. So thanks again for stopping by. Hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. And thanks again, guys. Hope you have a great week. See us next week, and we'll talk to you then. Thanks.